Every year, Apple releases a new iPhone with a better camera, but it also makes the file sizes bigger. Sometimes you may need a smaller file and don't know how to reduce it. Today, I'm going to show you different ways you can reduce the photo size on your iPhone. But before we dive in, do us a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to ring the notification bell. That way, you'll never miss out on our content. Starting off, the easiest way to reduce the size of your photos is in the Settings app. However, this will not affect the file size of photos you've already taken. It only applies to new ones. But don't worry, if you've already taken photos, I'll also show you how to reduce the size of existing images later in the video. Open Settings, tap on Camera, Formats, and tap on High Efficiency. This will give you the smallest photo size without reducing the quality of your photos. If you want to reduce the file size even more, tap on photo mode and choose 12 megapixels. This will limit your photo size to about 3 megabytes. Now, if you use the Mail app, you can easily reduce the file size before sending an email. After writing your email in the Mail app, tap the Photos icon and choose the photos that you want to send. When you tap the send arrow in the top right corner of the screen, a pop-up will appear and give you four different size options, small, medium, large, and actual size. Choose the size that you want and your photo will be sent automatically. One reason you might need to reduce file sizes is to free up space on your iPhone. And another great way to do this is by deleting duplicates and similar photos. You can quickly do this using Clean My Phone. I've included a link down below in the description for you to download it, or you can scan this code with your iPhone to get the app. Once you open Claim My Phone, you will see the declutter option, which analyzes and sorts your media files, selecting those you may not want to keep any longer, including duplicates, blurred photos, and screenshots. And there's also the Organize option, which shows you stuff that you might want to organize and similar photos that might not be the relevant for you. After the scan is complete on both of these modules, you will have the option to tap on each of the categories of clutter to deselect the ones that you want to keep, or you can go ahead and clean it all. Going back to how to reduce the size of your photos, there's a way to do this on WhatsApp as well. If you're not familiar with it, WhatsApp is a popular messaging app used around the world. Open a chat on WhatsApp, choose the photo that you want to send, tap on the plus sign to include additional ones, and tap the HD icon to choose between standard or HD quality. Standard is faster to send and it's smaller, while HD is slower to send and larger. For the purpose of saving space, choose standard and tap the arrow to send your message. Additionally, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there is a way to reduce the file size of images you've already taken. While cropping or changing the aspect ratio of your photos in the Photos app might seem like it would reduce the file size, it actually doesn't have that effect. You can do this instead. Open the Shortcuts app, tap the plus sign to create a new shortcut, add action, search for resize, tap resize image, Choose parameters for the size of the images or use the one suggested and tap Done. Now press and hold the shortcut, tap on Details and enable Show in Share Sheet. Next, open the photo you want to resize, tap the Share icon, tap the shortcut you just created, and that's it. Now, before I conclude, make sure to check out our video on how to delete duplicate photos on iPhone as well. The link is included in the description below, and there you have it. This is how you can reduce the file size of your photos on iPhone. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to ring the notification bell. That way, you stay in the loop for all things iPhone. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.